I used to have several sites. Uh, now I kind of like the grower's edge. It gives me that cash max. You can tell it which markets you're looking for and it will tell you what your highest uh, net back is based on the price they're paying at that time and the basis that they're paying. And uh, that's pretty handy because I don't have to go to so many different sites. Good afternoon and welcome to Green TV. It's May 23rd, 2013. To my right is Cody Bills and I'm Brock Shimano. We had an exciting day in the soybean market. Let's turn over to Fire Tip to see how we ended the day. Corn was up three and a half cents. Soybeans up just five and a half, but five and a quarter cents. Wheat in Chicago up 14 and three quarters, and Kansas City was up 11 and a quarter. You know, Cody, like I said, we did have a really exciting day in the soybean market. Why don't you take us through today's action? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as soon as we started off uh, the day, we opened up the day, we started trading higher here. In the overnight session, we were actually a little bit lower, but man, as soon as that uh, market opened, we were off to the races and marching higher uh, for the better part of the trade. Now, let's just take a look at this uh, chart here. What this is, is a five minute candlestick chart with each bar representing five minutes worth of price activity. And that basically means that uh, this is in the entire day's trade right here uh, in this area. Basically, we opened up, we started trading higher, we had a nice little trend, we were making higher highs, making higher lows, uh, marching higher, but right here is what I want you guys to focus on. Right about uh, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock central time, we just started exploding to the upside. And a lot of this, I think, had to do with the fact that Argentina port workers were still on strike and they were trying to find out some sort of resolution there. And we kept getting kind of mixed signals. At first, they said, uh, you know, they, they don't expect a deal, uh, that the strike could potentially carry into next week. And I think that's one of the reasons that this started really accelerating uh, the buying. But then we get a little bit more positive news, news coming out of that area that they may reach a deal. It sounds like they are going to reach a deal. They will continue uh, to, to reopen those docks and get the grain flowing onto those ships and exporting out of the country. And I think that's why we had this very sharp sell-off. I think this is a blow-off top. We've had six strong days worth of price movements higher here in the soybean complex for this July contract. And I think the fact that we got up, you know, around 14 or 1540 and then we sell off until we close down below 15, I think to me this is incredible volatility. People most likely got stuck in this position. They they could have gotten long. They may not have gotten out before the close. I think it's going to cause some more selling pressure tomorrow morning. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing starts moving lower. You know, I'm, I'm right there with you, Cody. Um, you know, this is very uh, discouraging for bulls out there. We did have this blow off top, like you were saying, a 60 cent range here today. And really, it's the highest prices we've seen since last September 20th. We take a little bit longer range look here. Um, and over the last month, the low we hit uh, almost exactly a month ago was on April 24th at 1341. Today, we traded up to 1546 and three quarters. So, over a dollar gain we saw in the last month or so, and especially in the last about six sessions or so. So what, you know, we are getting overbought on the RSI indicator as well. So I, I would have to imagine that we will see some more selling tomorrow. We're heading into a long weekend, three days. Uh, Monday will be closed for the Memorial Day holiday. So I would imagine that we do see some profit taking, probably some more selling into tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. If you look, at, I mean, look at the daily chart here. You know, this is the range we were talking about. We were expecting to see some sort of resistance up here on the top side of the range. We got through it. We had you know, like those talks about uh, the dock workers striking, and I think that kind of that kind of excited everyone, and that's what really pushed us higher. But look at this candle. I mean, this is just an incredible range that we printed throughout the day. And to me, after this much of a directional move, uh, with this kind of volume down here, this and and a close below 15, this to me signals that I think that we're going to have a little bit of selling pressure here going forward. You know, we did get some good fundamental news here this morning by way of the export sales report from the USDA. If we take a look at the numbers, uh, we did beat analyst expectations on uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Uh, for corn, we saw 104,000 in the old crop, 341,000 in the new crop, uh, soybeans 183,000 in the old crop, 838 in the new crop, and for wheat, we saw 239 for the old crop, and for, so uh, for new crop, we saw 713,000. So good export sales for corn, soybeans, and wheat this week, a little bit of a different story than what we've seen recently. If you take a look at these charts that we've been following all marketing along, you can see here the corn export sales are the blue bars. The red line is the seasonal pace we need to meet 
the current USDA projections, and we are falling just a little bit short of those current USDA projections for corn, uh, sitting about 11 million bushels behind pace to meet those projections. Uh, if we take a look at the wheat export sales, we are coming to the market, end of the marketing year here, but we continue to beat the seasonal pace to meet the current USDA projections. But on the year, we are still about 23 million bushels behind uh, to meet the USDA projections. So I would imagine that we are going to see some sort of revision coming up in the the next uh, USDA supply and demand report. And that sounds fair enough. Well, guys, if you have any question about what we talked about today, this was a very volatile market. Give us a call at 877-472-4607. And remember, you know, these markets are very, very volatile, very fast moving right now. And this soybean market in particular is an excellent example of that. If you don't have access to a trading platform at your home and you're relying on calling into a broker to get quotes, you might want to consider uh, getting access to the markets through your home office um, or through an online platform. And you can do that by visiting GrainHedge.com uh, and taking a demo. Thanks a lot for tuning in. You can follow us on Twitter at GrainTV. We'll see you here Friday for the Weekly Wrap.